Hey everybody, this is Tatro, and welcome back to an all new Beat Diaries. I was recently tasked with creating sounds and a track for the release of Artifons Orbit 2, and in today's video, I'll be showing you a little bit of that process. This was my first time creating a multi-sample instrument and basically it involves recording every single note of an instrument like I'm doing with this lyre here. You have to make sure you play each note perfectly with the same amount of force so all the notes match. After that, I took each of those notes and loaded them into Ableton Live's sampler. And don't worry, Ableton makes this as difficult as possible, having this be in one of their hidden menus with tiny text and buttons. After all that sort of tedious work is out of the way, it's actually really fun to play this instrument on the Orba. Eventually though, I wanted to add more of a unique impression to the sound, so I imprinted some unique field recordings into each individual note of the lyre. I did this for all four instruments I created for Orbit 2, including my handpan instruments, which I used to create the chord instrument on Orbit 2. And the chord progression was actually the first idea I came up with for this track. Once I had a general groove going, I could lay down some percussion. For this track, I started with the core instruments that I designed specifically for Orbit 2, and eventually I started layering the lyre instrument on top of this groove. This is really my process for coming up with melodies for any track. Generally, I'm just sitting there improvising over a loop. And slowly, you can start to hear the melody that I actually use. It's coming to me. This was fairly simple, I just followed the chord progression. I knew I would have to play elements of this track live for the Artifon release video, but I started adding additional layers that I wouldn't necessarily have to play live, so like this additional percussion layer. Now that the core groove has been created, I'm starting to think about the structure. So here I'm working on a, a simplified intro where we take some of the ideas from the core groove and we alter them to be a bit lighter, I guess. Taking the chord progression up an octave, adding a simple drum pattern. And then with the lead instrument, we can get a bit improvisational in the beginning. Mm -hmm. 
Even though the track was built around the four core Orba 2 sounds, I did add additional layers like more percussion and a vocal sample from my sample pack. Using vocal samples as instruments, it's one of the things I love doing in my tracks. I think it gives my tracks a distinct sound from other tracks in the genre. Of course, even for a one minute long track, the process of mixing can be tedious. Here in this stage, I also create some automations and transition sounds to make the track more dynamic. Overall, I'm really happy with how these sounds in this track came out. I actually did a full interview and talked a bit more about this process in a video over on Artifon's channel, so feel free to check that out. Artifon didn't sponsor this video or anything, but I was commissioned to do some content for them and create the presets for Orbit 2. As usual, I hope you enjoyed this look into my process on Beat Diaries. Check out the playlist for more Beat Diaries videos if you like the format. And if you want to support the channel, please click the join button below. It really helps the channel a lot and we do a lot of fun members only stuff like workshops. Also let me know what you think of the sound of this track. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been Tatro. Have a good one.